hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have uh, 4 to the power of m is equals to m to the power of 8 and we solve this problem for the or uh, for all the values of m uh, so uh, here i hope so uh, you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to move all the variable terms to the right hand side and we move all the constant terms in the left hand side uh, so for this first we need to move this variable term m to the right hand side uh, and in order to move this m to the right hand side we need to take the mth root on both of the sides <clears throat> so uh, you already know about the meaning of mth root is that we need to take 1 over m power on both of the sides so it will be written as m to the power of 8 and its whole power is 1 over m and now further in the next step uh, here we apply the nice exponent law you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponent law here we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 4 to the power of m multiplied by 1 over m is equals to here similarly we apply again this exponent law in the right hand side and it will be written as m to the power of 8 multiplied by 1 over m. So now here we need some simplifications in the left hand side this m is cancelled out by this m and we get here 4 only and it is equals to here we again apply this exponent law and according to this law here we can just uh, apply this exponent law from right hand side to left hand side and here we move this m inside the term and we write these terms in this form so here we move this 1 over m inside the term and it will be written as m to the power of 1 over m and its whole power is 8 so uh, here we move uh, our variable term in the right hand side now we have time to move the uh, constant term to the uh, left hand side for this we move uh, 8 to the left hand side and now in, in order to eliminate this 8 from right hand side we need to take the 8th root on both of the sides or in other words we will take 1 over 8 power on both of the sides so we write it as in this form m to the power of 1 over m and its whole exponent is 8 and because here we apply the 8th root so here we can again take 1 over 8 power in the right hand side and now here further we again apply this exponent law and here you see that these two exponents are multiplied by each other according to the above exponent law uh, so that we have uh, 4 to the power of 1 over 8 is equals to uh, here we have m to the power of 1 over m and its exponent is 8 multiplied by 1 over 8 so you see here this 8 and this 8 are cancelled out by each other and in the left hand side we have 4 to the power of 1 over 8 is equals to and in the right hand side we have m to the power of 1 over m so you see here uh, in the right hand side we have the exponent is the reciprocal of its base so that now we need to make this type of condition in the left hand side and in the left hand side we need to make the exponent is the reciprocal of its base so in order to uh, make this type of condition here we need uh, some working in the left hand side uh, so for this we need to uh, multiply and divide the exponent of this uh, 4 uh, by 2 so it will be written as 4 to the power of 2 over 2 and it is multiplied by 1 over 8 and this is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now further in the next step uh, here uh, we need to move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 4 square and its whole power is 1 over here we need to multiply these two values and it will be written as 2 multiplied by 8 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m 
and now here in the next step uh, you see here this uh, 4 squared equals to 16 and its exponent is this is 1 over 2 times of 8 is also becomes here 16 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m now you see here from both of the sides we have exponent is the reciprocal of its basis and so that now we need to compare uh, the basis and exponent so that when you compare the basis we get our m is equals to 16 and when you compare the exponents then you get 1 over 16 equals to 1 over m so here uh, from both of these cases uh, we get the same value of m and that is m equals to 16 so this is the, our final uh, value of m uh, and now here in the next step we need to you know, verify this value of m uh, so that in order to verify the value of m uh, we need to uh, copy down the given question statement here it is 4 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 8 and now here we check uh, is this value of m is satisfied this equation or not so that uh, we need to put this value of m uh, on both of the sides and it will be written as this is 4 to the power of 16 is equals to 16 to the power of 8 so here we check that is both of these sides are equal or not uh, so uh, for this we need to focus in the left hand side of this term and we have the exponent of this term is 16 so we write the 16 as 2 multiplied by 8 and here we check that is this value is equals to 16 to the power of 8 so here again we apply uh, the nice exponent law and according to this exponent law we need to move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 4 square and its whole power is 8 and here we check that is this equals to 16 to the power of 8 or not okay so uh, now here uh, we need to focus in the left hand side and you see here this is a uh, 4 square and we know that 4 square equals to 16 and its exponent is 8 is equals to this is also uh, base 16 to the power of 8 now you see here uh, both of the sides are equal uh, when we choose our m is equals to 16 uh, so it means that the value of m equals to 16 satisfied over this given question statement so uh, this is the, our final answer of this question and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos